It's March, let me check, 29th. It's March 29th and I'm going to Japan in three days. The day is finally arrived and I have not been able to concentrate on anything this week besides the countdown. So we are ready to start packing. I love packing, a lot of people hate packing. I love it. It's a chance to just go through my whole closet and just try clothes on and get rid of stuff and maybe even go buy stuff that I don't need, you know. But the goal here is to take as little as possible. We're traveling with Turkish Airlines, so we're doing a direct flight from Istanbul to Tokyo. And we actually have two suitcase allowance underneath each. The suitcase topic is always so frustrating because these days you have to pay like a hundred euros to just bring an extra suitcase underneath. So I'm always struggling with that because I obviously never want to pay that. <laughs> but now that I have this allowance, I don't want to bring a large suitcase and I actually want to travel with a backpack. So it's a little bit painful that I'm wasting this free allowance. But because we're going to be doing a trip where we're moving around so much, it's just that much more convenient. If we were only going to one city and staying in one hotel, I would definitely bring as many suitcases as I could because I also know that I'm going to be buying a lot of stuff. So keeping in mind that I also want to go shopping and go to thrift stores and buy some new stuff, I am trying to bring as little as possible. So the first step is what is going to be our travel bag, our travel suitcase. Six months ago, I was going through security at the airport and this girl in front of me had this big yellow bag and I was already thinking about what I was gonna bring to Japan and I asked her about it and she introduced me to Baboon to the Moon. They have these awesome, bright colored, waterproof bags and until now, whenever I travel with a backpack, I still have my Deuter backpack, which is 50 liters. And it's just your traditional long backpackers bag, which I have used endlessly in my life. I don't know, I felt like I deserved an upgrade. And this Japan trip is just something so special to me. So I was like, okay, let's invest on a good bag that's gonna last me forever. So I bought this and the reason I like this is because it's like a duffel bag that you open this way and I can pack things like a normal suitcase instead of having to shove them down into a backpack. So you pack it like a duffel bag, but you wear it like a backpack. You see? Well, you get the point. So, the goal is to put everything in here and nothing else. I have used this already a few times and I really like it. The only thing is that I wish it had like another zipper over here where I could just put my laptop. Because I don't really love shoving my laptop just in there with everything else. So that is the only uh, thing that I could point out about this bag. But check out Baboon to the Moon. I also already ordered the yellow fanny pack, which I'm not gonna get in time for the trip, but they're just really cool. I really like them. All right, let's uh, start packing. We are going during high season, cherry blossom season. So that is has its ups and downs. It's gonna be the most beautiful season of the year, but it's going to be full of people. The weather apparently is a little bit volatile. Vol volatile, vol volatile, <laughs> vo vol volatile. El clima está muy volatil. The weather is volatile. <laughs> it's springtime, so it's like sometimes it gets hot, but then it gets cold again. So we have to pack for both. We're going three full weeks, but I'm going to pack 
outfits for one week and then we recycle and we combine. That's just how you do it. The way I travel, I am unfortunately not going to be doing a lot of fine dining uh, yet. So that helps with uh, keeping it casual and not having to bring really fancy outfits. And the most important thing, especially for women, I think when we pack is shoes. Believe it or not, I'm bringing one pair of sneakers on my feet. And that's it. And flip flops. Because we will be going to a lot of water parks for adults and spas and stuff. And I hate public bathrooms. It's the most disgusting thing. Like you will never see me putting my bare feet on a public bathroom. But anyway, the game changer is bringing one pair of shoes. Especially if you have massive feet like me, that would just take up the entire suitcase. So, one pair of sneakers, it is what it is. You know, I wish I could bring some nice black boots so I could dress my outfits up. But unfortunately, we, uh, we can't do that. We just can't, okay? So you win some, you lose some. Okay, okay. And I keep deviating, lots of talking. I've already separated what I'm gonna wear on the plane. So I'm wearing those and I'm wearing these sweatpants because we're gonna keep it as comfortable as possible for such a long flight. I have one, two, three, four, five, five tops, which I just will interchange. I basically just wear jeans and tops, keeping it super simple. One long sleeve shirt, one summer dress, and one white button up. Three pants, which should really be two. I should only be bringing two pairs of jeans, but I'm bringing three. And one black skirt, which I can dress down and I can dress up. Five pairs of underwear, five pairs of socks, two pantyhose, one pajama, one swimsuit, and I'm actually bringing this long sleeve swim shirt because a lot of the adult baths will not let you in if you have tattoos. I have <laughs> tiny little tattoos. I don't want to miss out on these awesome spas. So hopefully they will not ask me to remove my long sleeve shirt to inspect my tats, <laughs> my tattoos. Let's talk jackets. This is always a difficult one when you're trying to travel light. After going around in circles over which jacket I was going to take, it always comes down to Uniqlo little compact size jacket. I don't know, it probably has a cool name. Basically, if we're thinking logically, if we're using our brain and not our hearts, it doesn't make sense for me to take anything else other than this. It's super lightweight. It's warm, I can put it up into a little ball, put it in my pocket, and, and that's that. You know, that's why Uniqlo is so awesome. It's not particularly pretty. It's not definitely not very stylish. I know, I'm just gonna suck it up and look like a German hiker. <laughs> so, if you don't know these jackets, let me give a little demonstration. Fold it up like a little sleeping bag you do the little pew, 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 pew. Then you have this little bag, which is hanging on the inside or sometimes on the outside. It makes you look like an even bigger dork. Push it in. Ta-da! And that's it. And this baby fits inside my Decathlon little backpack and along with my water bottle and my GoPro and you're ready to take on the world. We'll be warm and we will not be carrying a bunch of stuff on my back or a bunch of big suitcases. So I'm sure I won't regret it. Also, if I see a really cool puffer jacket that's like pink with Hello Kitty on it, I think I'm gonna go crazy on the Hello Kitty stuff. Anyway, so that's that for the jacket. I always find that bathroom things and makeup is what really kills you when it comes to weight. That stuff somehow, even if you bottle everything into tiny little bottles, it adds up and makes everything extra heavy. And I don't even wear any makeup. If you are a woman and you're not impressed by this next category of my packing, 
I applaud you because I think this is impressive. Three weeks of toiletries, let me show you. Let's start the tour of my toiletries. Deodorant, shampoo, sunscreen, two lipsticks, people, two lipsticks, eyeshadows, eyebrows, eyeliner, mascara, makeup remover, serum, eye cream, moisturizer, and for my hair. That's right. That's all we're doing. That's all we're taking. One thing that I thought about is like, honestly, like I would want to take more stuff, but you always assume you will need more than you need. So just take the bare minimum. And if you run out, then you might just have to buy some more, but very high probabilities that you won't run out and that this will be more than enough. That's it. That's the toiletries. And it's all going into this little bag. Electronics. For my electronics, I'm really trying to bring as little as possible. If you can avoid bringing your computer, that's fantastic because that's one less bulk and also one less valuable to be worried about. I definitely need to bring my computer with me this time. I'm going to have so much material that I need to back up constantly. And I just know that after a long day of doing touristy things, I'm going to need a good dose of trash TV to decompress. Aside from that, I'm basically just bringing my GoPro and all of its accessories, a power bank for extra battery, some ear pods, and if you don't have one, you should definitely invest in buying a universal power adapter. These come in super handy when you're traveling. I really wanted to take my Sony noise canceling headphones because I love them and they're just super comfortable for the airplane, but they're kind of bulky. So I think I might just, I think I can survive with the uh, ear pods. What to do? I'm gonna wait until the last minute to see how heavy things are. So I will make this decision in the end. Another very important thing to plan are your medications. If you take any kind of pharmaceutical medication, absolutely make sure that you have enough for your trip. Actually, very recently, like two months ago, I traveled and I ran out of my anxiety medication and I couldn't get my hands on it for two weeks. And I didn't imagine that I was gonna have such an impact on me. I have to say most of the month of February, I lost a lot of my stability because of that. So you do not wanna be traveling after investing all of that time and all of that money and all of that energy and then be like, oh shit, I forgot my medication and now I'm just feeling really shitty. So that is super important. We are stocked. I mean, you can also buy things there so it's not like you need to take with you a pharmacy. I feel like people always think like, oh, I need to bring everything that I might possibly need in case I get sick. I have everything already at home. So I just bring like a very small amount of each. I don't really get sick very often. To be honest, usually when we travel, there's someone else in my group that gets sick and I always feel very happy that I can help them by having something to provide in the moment. But if you are someone that tends to get sick with food or maybe allergies or whatever, you know what to do. Just make sure that you are prepared. So this is my little portable pharmacy. And we are ready to go. Everything's packed. We are off to Japan. We had a two hour layover in Istanbul, so we decided to stop for a celebratory beer. Our flight would land in Tokyo at 7 p.m. on the following day, so ideally we wouldn't sleep through the flight. So this was the perfect opportunity to catch up on all those terrible movies that I would never watch in my spare time. I also downloaded an entire season of Love is Blind Japan, so that definitely kept me busy and entertained. In conclusion, I have to say I did an incredible job packing, but now that I'm back from Japan, I can give you a few tips. Do not waste any of your weight allowance on shampoos and conditioners because anything they have is going to be superior. But ultimately, the best advice I can give you, if you are a shopper, trust me when I say that you should pack the absolute bare minimum because shopping in Japan is another level. You're guaranteed to buy a bunch of stuff. Alright, stay tuned for a lot more Japan content coming.